Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Kelibetov, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honour to participate in the Minex, the most important mining conference and exhibition in Central Asia. The growing demand of metals and minerals is an opportunity for countries which are rich in mineral resources like Kazakhstan and Finland among others. And indeed the mining industry expanding in both countries. Central Asia is one of the most important regions in the world for several mineral commodities. For example, Kazakhstan is the world's leading producer of uranium. In addition, a number of exploration projects involving copper, gold, rare metals and uranium are going on, indicating that the production will increase in the future. Currently, Finland is the biggest gold producer in Europe. Finnish bedrock contains significant known deposits of many critical metals and minerals and in addition has considerable potential for the discovery of new resources. There are 12 metallic mines operating in Finland at present. Industrial mineral, minerals are extracted from 30 mines. The turnover of the mining sector is about 1.5 billion euros. We have identified the sector's strategic objectives in our mineral strategy to promote domestic growth and prosperity, offer solutions for global mineral chain challenges and mitigate environmental impact. The Finnish mineral cluster is comprised of three extractive sectors. The mining industry, aggregates industry and the natural stone industry. In addition, the cluster includes diverse fields of technology manufacturing, mining ma machinery, rock crossing equipment and ore processing technology as well as other process suppliers. Many new industries emerge from, from the cluster such as exploration states, drilling companies and assorted contractors that drill, explode and crush. Environmental issues are getting more and more important in mining operations. The acceptance from the local society has to be earned. The mining industry needs to be ecologically, socially and economically sustainable. We believe that clean technologies and green mining concepts can provide solutions for these challenges. In Finland we define clean tech as products, services and processes that promote sustainable use of raw materials and reduce environmental impacts of the industrial processes. Finland is one of the leading countries in clean tech solutions according to several different benchmarks carried out during the last couple of years. Our strongholds include energy efficiency, bioenergy and bio-based products but also sustainable mining industry and water treatment. We have more than 2,000 clean tech companies with a total turnover of 20.6 billion euros. In Finland we launched the Green Mining Program in 2011. It is a five years development program co-financed by the industry, universities, research institutes and the government. 60 million euros is being invested in development projects with the aim at creating new business areas for innovative specialized expertise. The green mining concept includes five focus areas. Materials and energy efficiency. 
availability of mineral resources for future needs, environmental and social impacts, work and organizational practices, and sustainable land use after mine closure. Finnish metal mines are technically demanding due to hard bedrock, underground mines and low ore rates. This has resulted in advanced technology and high quality products, sophisticated ore processing procedures and therefore established global references. I am happy to hear Kazakhstan has cooperation with such global leaders in mining technology as Autotech, Metso and ADB. Autotech has developed several breakthrough technologies. For example, flash smelting, originally developed by Autocomp company in 1949, still remains a flagship technology in smelting. Today, Autotech is offering covers from the entire value chain of processing minerals and metals as well as life cycle services. METSO is a global supplier of technology and services to customers in the processing industries. For the mining industry, METSO offers equipment, service and maintenance including rock crushing, screening and convening equipment and systems, grinding mills, and metal and solid based recycle. We have specialists in underground mining machinery and companies for heavy duty mining infrastructure like conveyors and, and stackers. There are also many small companies offering special technologies as imaging technologies and wireless, wireless solution for exploration, process control, quality assurance and environmental measurements. Finnish universities and a number of Finnish companies have currently active in company management задействован в очистных работах, в улучшении устойчивости существующих рудников. Закрытый цикл пользования вод, конечно же, очень важен для того, чтобы сократить количество сточных вод, которые попадают в природные источники и увеличить запасы доступной пресной воды. Конечно же, нам требуется развивать, и мы особое внимание, особое упор на этом делаем. Развитие развития сотрудничества между частным сектором Финляндии и Казахстаном, но также сотрудничество на государственном уровне. Сейчас в Финляндии мы разрабатываем проект геоинформации, то есть это геологическая информация по Казахстану, Узбекистану и Кыргызстану. Этот проект финансирует правительство Финляндии. Сейчас, конечно же, мы будем проводить ряд тренингов, как пользоваться этой системой. Тренинги – это, конечно, обучение, это совершенно необходимый, необходимый компонент. Мы обучаем сейчас, как устанавливать эти базы, как работать с электронными библиотеками и так далее. Создание Центрально-Азиатского геопортала с вот участием этих трех Центрально-Азиатских стран уже очень хорошо продвигается. Первые шаблоны готовы. Горнодобывающие компании работают в рамках глобального бизнеса. Нельзя рассматривать их изолированно. Международный контекст всегда очень важен. И данный семинар, данная выставка является прекрасной возможностью для нас обменяться опытом обменяться идеями и обсудить возможности сотрудничества. Я хочу поблагодарить вас за внимание и пожелать всем вам интересного семинара и очень информативного выставки. Спасибо большое.